and what a mick. Just gonna walk up along the edge of the river here. See if I can locate some rainbows. The river's nice and low and clear. Could probably spot fish in here. Bit of an unknown. I haven't spent a lot of time up here fishing, so. I'll have a wee wander. And see what the day's got in store. I'm in. There's a decent bit of water recovered. Little fish. Terribly huge. Bit of fish in here to be around the two pound mark. On average. He's all over the place when it comes to fighting now. He's coming towards me, shooting away. He hasn't jumped, so. There he is. Looks like a small rainbow. Some good scouring on him. Drag one from the wooden edge. Yeah. Pretty little fish. Let's go. There you go. Right. Let's try it here. It's good to see. Just blind fishing my way today. Well on the indicator with a small no 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 get into one here. The indicator. Same bit of water I just caught that last little fish out of. I'm on a tight line. To get them under control then get your line back on the reel. Is that the same maker model as the last one? I love catching rainbow trout. They don't have to be big rainbows for me to have fun. They don't have to be big trout for me to have fun. But rainbows are just a little bit more exciting than browns. I've been in the rod. Even the modest sized fish should fight pretty well with the Wymac behind it. One of the most heavily fished rivers in New Zealand, the Waimak. It's only about 20 minutes from Christchurch. Second largest population centre in the country. Here we go. I don't even need the net. Beautiful fish though, isn't it? Isn't it pretty? That's just so mint. I'm maybe getting up near two pound. One and three quarter. That's a beautiful fish. Awesome. Here we go. Okay, so back at that same stretch of water. We've just hooked the two fish out of in the last five minutes. Almost looked like a rise there. Give me just a little disturbance on the surface and not a fish. A little white natural wall indicator that I plucked off the um, off a fence on the way to the river. Got a little bit of lubricant, a little bit of floatant, but it doesn't really need it. it floats so well. And a size 16 pheasant tail underneath. There's just a little bar in here. This little side stream is just flying over, spilling over a little bar and. There must be some fish lying on top of it, on the edge. That's where I hooked that last one. Yep, another one there. Holy cow. I can see what sort of day this is going to end up being. Five minutes fishing, third fish on. A river I'm unfamiliar with fishing. Let's get down below me. Mm 
get some of it. It's been flashing away. Another rainbow. Is that around a snag, is it? I oh, know. Quite strong too, this one. But not still in line. Lots of head shakes and thumping around. They're rolling around under the water there, but not jumping. That's a better one. Get his head up if possible. Looks about the same make and model as the last one I got. Around that two pound mark. It's amazing the amount of pressure you can give them on a five weight rod. Four pound line. Long fine leader. Any fish. It's good condition, they're all good. I don't want to horse them. You get impatient sometimes when you know there's fish to be caught. It's easy to horse the fish in and try and force the issue and then you lose them. It's like, if I just took my time I would have had another one, you know. <laughs> this is fantastic. No, it's late in that fast water, so you got to take a wee bit of stopping. If I can't get him in here, it's going to be trouble. I have to cross this braid. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's it. Good position now. Holy cow, look at the fish. Look at him. Beautiful, deep fish. About two and a bit. Pound. Beautiful, perfect, wild rainbow, white and fit. There you go, buddy. Love the fast water, the rainbows. Awesome. Okay, so I'm back at that same bit of water. And uh, probably had half a, car, half a dozen casts today. Had half a dozen casts the last 10 minutes, and uh, this resulted in three. Mm, one of just started fishing for the day, so who knows what the rest of the day is going to hold. There's a rise here. Did my line just go down? There's a rise there, so there's another fish in there. Let's watch it. Brent. That wasn't the one that rose. Oh, he's a bit more spunk. This is, this is awesome. I'm going to keep this one up here and not let him get down. I don't know what size he But, I know he'd be about a pound. Size the first one perhaps. Round it to a pound. His gloves are good. Keep your hands moist. Not only keep the sunburn off, which is not such a big deal this time of year. We're into May. But it keeps your gloves moist, so when you do handle fish, chances of damaging them are reduced. Beautiful wee hen, about a pound. The fish rising here. Good cast. Got him. That's a good fish. Oh. Tight line, tight line. Oh, he's got some snot. More like a rainbow.
I just love a protesting drag. <laughs> I don't know why people use silent reels. I can understand it if they want some secrecy. Yeah. Don't want people to know they're getting on to fish at night time and whatnot, but other than that, the sound of a fish stealing your backing, it's just, or your line, it's just one of the pieces of fly fishing. This is the best one of the day so far, I'd say, quite comfortably. It's a dull day, so it's not a, um, a day you'd want for spotting. Not that I'd really walk along this river looking for fish, not these little shiny rainbows. You pretty well camouflage. Didimo is pretty prevalent at the moment. It's definitely got the most fight. Don't want to come back down here, does he? Might be comfortably over two pound this one. It's just two pounder, but it's just a, I don't know, yeah, two and a half. Beautiful fish. They really are spectacular looking rainbows. Rainbows, oh, I love rainbows. Hook out. It's amazing how often the hook comes out in the net, eh? Yeah, two and a half. Okay, swung back over to the uh, pheasant tail. Changed my indicator from white to orange. It's a bit loud, but um, this heavy glare in the water is imperative that you can see the indicator. And the white's a little bit hard to pick up. So a little pheasant tail. I'm just gonna, there's a rise up there now. A couple of fish rising up there now, different areas. Starting to warm up now the weather, so got him. Get a line on it. Getting down this week side stream would be a big help. Nice fish. Tight line, tight line. Get him on the reel. Good luck if I can get him down the few sides, soon. Two and a half him. Warming up nicely now, the weather. I hope they'll bring a few more fish onto the, the bite. You go hard out and the head shakes. Yeah. Just with the beach, eh? Nice, beautiful little fish. Mint. Come on, just come over the edge. That's it. What a beauty, eh? It's two pound, but just sensational. Beautiful mint fish. A little bit of heat on it, you know, young. Awesome. And another one here, and he's gone hard out into the current. Same spot as I just like landed at last fish. Since any rises, I just fished my way up the same edge blind, and that's why I missed the take. I wasn't 100% sure there's going to be anything there. But he took off. Like 
Set out a hill. Yes, same make and model. Some going on the tip of my rod there. It exhausted itself on that one run. Oh, it's a brown. Well, there's something to change. <laughs> and he went hard out. Let's have a look at this fish. And what a beauty he is. Same condition as the rainbows. Beautiful wee fish. Yeah, just put a few more. Just put a few more casts in with the same light. I made a mistake I made just before turning the camera off, thinking that um, all the fish have been running again. <laughs> Crazy. Well, like I said. <laughs> the camera rolling this time just in case there's another one in there I'm not going to make the same mistake I'm turning the camera off and missing the tape carnage here on the YMAC and now it's um, could be anything a brown rainbow salmon <laughs> smolt the wouldn't be fine like this if it was. But... Let's indicate it. Species Rainbow. It's always good fishing a river where you don't know what you're going to catch. It's pretty fair to say the average is about two pound. Another perfect fish of about a pound and a half. Pound and a quarter, pound and a half. No young jack over here. It's been caught before by looks of it. Go on. Fish have continued to come all day. Been here for about three and a half, four hours now. Just pulled a couple of browns out of this little bit of water. Nothing of any size. It's just too sexy a bit of water to not have something a bit more substantial. Some two trout rise at the same time. There's one rise out there. A bit further out, I just that'll get him. I think. Got him. Oh. Not bad. Don't think it's the same fish somehow. Oh, rainbow. And here's a good idea of fish in here. Just too sexy a piece of water. Probably the nicest looking bit I've found all day. And I've only walked it up. Probably haven't even been on up and down the river K. Okay? Awesome out here. Here we go. Not well for a size. Beautiful. Gone. That's my day done and dusted.